Hello and welcome. In this video I will make Palo Alto Firewall Software version 7.1 overview. And, for, and before we go to new features, I would like to tell you about some notes uh, which you should know about software upgrade. And for, first and foremost, please create backup before you do software upgrade. And I would suggest to save it outside of the firewall as a best practice as well. Uh, to upgrade to 7.1, as usual, please check upgrade path. If you have firewall 7.0, so you can directly upgrade to 7.1. Although if you have 6.0, so you need to upgrade to version 6.1 and then to 7.0. And then to only then you can upgrade to 7.1. There is no way to upgrade from 6.0 to 7.1 directly. Software can be downloaded to the firewall via management console. Um, if, uh, although if there is uh, no internet access from the management interface of the firewall, so you can download the software image to your system. Uh, from Palo Alto support portal and then upload it to the firewall. Please sh make sure that on your firewall you have a content release 564 or later version uh, before this upgrade. Um, otherwise the upgrade will not be successful. Um, so for high availability pair you will need to upgrade a standby firewall first then when it's done, so suspend active firewall to switch sessions to the secondary firewall. And as the primary firewall is not active and it's not uh, uh, processing any session, so you can safely upgrade primary firewall as well. So that's um, short notes about the upgrade process. And now let's review the new features of the 7.1 release. I will not cover, of course, all of them and will concentrate on the most important from my view. And um, as I understand, the, one of the most important features of 7.1 is the cloud services support. So it, this was done to secure connection uh, for services like uh, Office 365. And... Uh, let's say Salesforce and others. So then uh, you will, uh, just to be sure that you will not get any um, problems from those services. So, and uh, another one feature, uh, I would not say that it's a major one, but really convenient. It's called commit queue. Since now you will not see an error message which will tell you that you cannot commit the change as another change is under commit. They will be just placed in the queue. Um, another one is a banner and message of the day customization. It's convenient that uh, we can upgrade the banner, not upgrade, customize banner or login page, but uh, more important that we'll be able to notify your peers at work about planned changes on the firewall and uh, they will see message of the day when they log into the firewall. And just to be, just to differentiate, banner you will see before you log into the firewall and message of the day after you log into the firewall. Also, you can configure colored banners on the top or bottom of the management console. So you can notify your peers and actually yourself that this is the firewall, let's say, in data center or internet-facing firewall. And then you will not uh, make an accidental mistake um, thinking that you're configuring another one firewall. Also, uh, in this, uh, from 7.1, uh, Palo Alto Firewall supports a certificate with size uh, 4096 bit. So you can use uh, these certificates as usual across all the features of the firewall, including Captive Portal, Global Protect, Site-to-Site -site VPN, and uh, Web Interface Access as well. So 
Uh, another one feature uh, it's integration with autofocus so all logs will be integrated with autofocus and so you will be able to provide context analysis for the firewall events on network industry and global scales and these are actually another one cloud service from Palo Alto also uh, really important feature for uh, companies who uses cloud services. Um, Microsoft, uh, sorry, uh, Palo Alto supports Microsoft Hyper-V uh, as a platform, Azure, and attention Amazon Web Services as well. So you can use uh, uh, virtualized environment in Azure and Amazon Web Services now with, uh, with Palo Alto Firewall. Not sure about uh, in, uh, NSX, but um, I have not checked that yet, uh, but uh, as a general fallout firewall, uh, you can use it. Um, also, uh, there is a new feature for Chrome OS users. Now you can have global protect for that operating system. And if we would continue with global protect, so now we have SCP, SCEP support as well. So you can automate the process of requesting and installing client certificates. Please use this feature, really important. Use it for ages uh, with uh, Cisco uh, safe firewalls. Um, it's really, really convenient feature. Please don't forget to use it. Another one uh, feature for Global Protect, uh, I would say not another one. There are actually many updates for enhanced uh, one-time password and two-factor authentication. Um, there are so many of them that uh, it's uh, there is no time to review all of them now, maybe later, although I believe that it's important to mention about it, of course. Uh, there are also many improvements in networking features, and I would suggest to review them by yourself, as um, it might not be interesting for everyone, but uh, if you're uh, interested in some of them, it might be really important. Uh, so I would suggest to have a look, and most probably you will find uh, something interesting for you. Uh, and just uh, as a bullet point, there are failure detection, uh, the failure detection with BFD, uh, pervilance panning tree support, which is important if you use Cisco switches, and uh, also there is an MSS adjustment, so please have a look, there are actually plenty of them. Uh, Palo Alto added this protocol, why? <laughs> Just to provide backward compatibility with all the devices. Um, I would not recommend to use it, and um, uh, if you have no other option uh, like except this, well, good to have, and I would suggest that uh, Palo Alto has got another a very big customer which has uh, plenty of devices which have uh, only this support, and uh, it was required as to provide at least minimal encryption uh, available uh, on the market. And also, um, there is PFS support added to the firewall. It's really good to enhance security for your VPN links, and I would suggest to use it. Um, although, keep in mind that many popular devices like Cisco SA do not have some PFS enabled by, by default. It's, uh, they support PFS, but not enabled by default. Uh, so, as usual, you need to check all um, VPN phase one and phase two parameters to match to have your VPN established. More detailed information uh, you will be able to find on Palo Alto website. Uh, all the required links uh, related to this information um, I will put in the comments. Okay, that's uh, all for today and see you later.